In this video, I'm going to show you how filthy I am. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Painting Zone. Um, you may have noticed we've got a new camera up here. This is a new thing to try. I don't know why I've got my arms folded. Look like a twat. So someone on our Discord channel has sent me... Why am I looking there when I should be looking there? Someone on our Discord channel has told me that my painting area, as in all of this, looks absolutely filthy. And um, they're not wrong. However, we are mid-project. And I think it's okay to be filthy. Uh, tissues and such. It's okay to be filthy if you're in the middle of a project. So I'm gonna take you around the room and just show you how filthy things get. Okay, we are now in roaming camera mode. <laughs> um, it's time to show you all the filth. So we'll start over here with a very filthy looking palette. So I use that one for dry brushing, but you can see all the spills from the current project all down there. Um, this is normal. I'll wash this off with a bit of methylated spirits at the end of the project. Uh, we also have a very dirty looking um, water pot there. Is that the name? Is that a water pot? Don't drink it. That's my advice. Never drink your water from your paint water. Uh, that's orange juice. You can drink that one, although they look very similar. Looks like an old sample, that one. Um, a belt. I genuinely don't know how that belt got there. Um, we also have what we got here. Paint pots. Um, old PVC piping for the old streaming setup. Uh, a couple of inks. This is all pretty normal. See, there's paint strewn around everywhere. Brushes. Uh, oh, over here. These are... What's the name of those metal things? Pliers. Um, I forget the name. I genuinely can't remember what they're called. Um, uh, tweezers. Tweezers, that's the one. Yeah. Um, we have the orange juice. We have a piece of paper secret information on you don't want to see that um a knife uh, andy knows that knife he's always been a big fan of that knife yesterday's pint glass which has been there a day terrible i know uh a pair of tweezers the bunker which we're currently painting and more associated tap uh blood on a tissue here that's genuine that's where i cut myself a few minutes ago uh, so they can go in the bin momentarily see it is an absolute filth pot over here. The paint rack, uh, a sock. <laughs> that is actually a sock, which I'm using as a windbreak for the mic at the moment. There is another one down there, but it's just too stiff. I have a problem with it being too stiff, and then you can't stick it on. It's easier to just jam it on if it's not stiff. All the paints there, there's some of them. The others are in those boxes down there, these boxes down there, hidden from the world. Also down here we have some unfinished projects, started but unfinished. We also have um, some supplies down here, so, uh, a bit of chain randomly, which we were using for Night Lords amongst glue and airbrush stuff. And some more projects down here, these are some Imperial Guardsmen on the painting stands ready to await their uh, painting schedule. Some random light down the back of that. And there, that is the homemade paint. Nearly wrecked my airbrush. Anyway, we have a dusty computer, a dirty screen, some idiot on the screen there. Um, Toad, there he is. Hello, Toad. My mascot, one of the mascots. A box, box full of absolute junk down there. My heater, who likes to make a audible appearance now and then. Because it is cold in this room for some reason. Old things. Remember that Imperial Knight? One day, but not today. An iPad, some random tools. See, this is an absolute mess. Look at those wires. Look at that. You've never seen so many wires in your entire life. Uh, what's in here? Boxes of bases and 
basic grit, things like that. Some books. Why they're on a box under my uh, desk, I do not know. An airbrush and compressor. It's, it's terrible at focusing, isn't it? And then over here, over here, we have even more junk. Look at that for a wide shot of absolute junk. Um, a rhino who was being test painted recently. Is that dust on there? <sighs> Probably because there's a cobweb there. Um, palettes I've been using, paint, wipes. Also, we have super glue, which is fogging up that bit of plastic. Paint brushes, more paint brushes. We have paint brushes galore everywhere. Basing bits, the spray booth, as I call it. Looks like a train carriage from New York, doesn't it? It's pretty good. Especially that side. I think that looks nice. And down here, to top it all off, we have the light box for individual figures. Some paint brushes I'm now throwing away and my spray mark. So you will notice that things things do look an absolute mess. But like I say, we are mid projects and when I've finished this bunker, everything gets a massive clean up to be wrecked again pretty soon after. By the way, at the end of the project, we always have a clean up and so should you. My nails look a bit long. Do they look a bit long to you? So, I don't know if you're aware, there's a chap called Darren Latham and he produces very nice videos on his YouTube channel and sadly he is shutting down his channel on the 18th of May I believe. So, I would encourage everyone to go over there and subscribe to his channel before he shuts it down uh, so we can get the 100,000 subscribers to get the YouTube play button which, excuse me, which would appear on your wall somewhere. You know the one I mean, you see him everywhere. I don't have one. No, don't have one. Also, uh, Duncan Rhodes has made a comeback with his new channel. I think it's called Duncan Rhodes Painting Academy. Is that right? Duncan Rhodes Painting Academy. Duncan Rhodes? Duncan Rhodes Painting Academy. So go over there and check him out. I've missed him. He was a good painter. He was a good videologist. Videologist? Uh, mini... Mini tuber. Is that what we are? Are we mini tubers? Also, I'd like to say thank you very much to all my current Patreons. And they are Chantelle Marie, Tanya Blacksill, Steve J, Kyle, Dan, has that noise been going in the background this whole time? And Lee B. So thank you very much, guys. Uh, your patronage is very much appreciated. If uh, anyone else would like to join or have a look at the Patreon page, you can find the link in the description below. Today's Notification Squad shout out is Mark Brigandi. Mark Brigandi, thank you very much for all the comments on the videos. If you'd like to be shouted out as part of the notification squad, then please just leave a comment below and when I see your name pop up a lot, I'll give you a shout out. I do appreciate it, it's great fun reading your comments. Also, we're gonna have a little look at the bunker I've been working on. A few of you have been paying attention to this on Instagram. It's been really good fun to build and paint actually. I'll show you a bit more of that in a minute. But anyway, looking at the bunker, seems a bit dark. Uh, the, bu du the dunker, the dunky bunky, the triple double dipper, as we dip dipper. I'm really struggling to talk today. Uh, the bunker is nearly finished. All we've got to do is work. Just damn you. Damn you! How long my nail is? It's rank. Clip them tonight. Um, got to just give those a dry brush on the base. Stick some basing odds and sods there and I think we're pretty much done. I don't want to spend too much on it because at the end of the day it is a piece of scenery. But it has been great fun doing this and I'm going to show you a video in the how I painted video which will be soon after the completion video because a lot of people have been asking to see the templates probably so they can build their own so I'm looking forward to seeing that. That'll be good.
So thank you very much for watching and always remember to drill your barrels. Goodbye.